Season 29 introduced a Paragon cap of 800 and in this video I tell you exactly what I think about it. So let us change the camera perspective here, let's go in game. So you can see it now, my Paragon is 1023 here in, in solo cell found hardcore, but um, that doesn't matter. If you go into the game, if you start a game in Diablo 3, then you see right now in season 29, only 800 points are given out. Yeah, so 200 per category. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Paragon is basically an experience system of, on top of the regular experience system. Yeah, your character maxes out on level 70. And after that, you gain all your experience goes into Paragon levels. And with each Paragon level, you get a point, a Paragon point, which you can spend here. Four different categories core offense defense utility um, before season 29 you had uh, 200 points per category you still have that but you could only max out every um, every trade so every trade was kept at 50 so you basically got all trades from offense defense and utility and in core you usually put like 50 points in movement speed to cap that one and then the rest in strength or probably vitality in case your character was squishy or you played hardcore that you are not one shot anymore so this got changed now you can put 200 points in in each trade and the trades themselves got changed a little bit as well movement speed is not kept at 25 percent anymore it can go beyond that so makes a lot of sense for a lot of characters to do yeah max this one out um then also on uh yeah utility area damage got changed a little bit yeah to um yeah to uh fill in with this current system or to to fit in and um gold pickup radius is new this is really nice for farming before that it was just gold uh, drop rate or whatever and now you have gold pickup radius which is as i said really nice to grab the orbs once you kill an elite pack when you when you farm yeah when you do speed rifting and this is basically it about paragon yeah after 800 points you still get more paragon points here in season 29 but um not paragon points more paragon levels but you don't have that little plus icon here on the where my cursor is spinning right now or rotating um so basically the paragon is capped out so what is this what is the effect of this for the current season well in my opinion it creates a fairer competition yeah so it is way easier for you to compete in the leaderboards because everybody is capped out before that only the people that uh, farmed really high paragon uh, were able to to compete so overall your required play time to yeah rank high on the leaderboards is uh, diminished um if i think 800 is a great number uh, i will tell you a little bit more about it later but um let's take a look into the leaderboards um what is this i don't want to see conquest i want to see the greater rifts um so i'm playing solo cell phone hardcore right now this got introduced with this season as well it's a little bit buggy it doesn't show my highest rift here but uh you don't have to scroll much to see me here it's 16 right now in the in the leaderboards with 129 and this is um done with a uh, Aegis of valor build yeah with uh yeah using steed charge and basically spam fist of heavens fist of the heavens all the time yeah like automatically i don't have to cast this one it gets casted automatically when i'm using my steed charge uh, when i'm on the horse um but this is only the third best build right now on the leaderboards and there's uh yeah this one here with akan and condemn this casts condemn automatically and then you have obviously the yeah, lod thorns build so these three builds are what is uh yeah that are the, the highest ranked right now um but not many people are playing solo season hardcore, but this is a different discussion. But you see, um, based on my playtime, yeah, this is this is now the season is like, I don't know, a few weeks old, like six weeks, I think. Um, I, I don't know it exactly, but nobody is playing the game anymore. Like most of the people have quit. But look at this. I have 38 hours playtime here, yeah? Then uh, compare this which uh, with the season which was my strongest so far. That was season 25 where a lot of people uh, played. This was probably the most popular season recently, yeah, in the last five years or so. Yeah, with a... Uh, with, uh, um, uh, I don't remember how they were called, but you had these uh, gems, yeah. 
I don't know, soul shards or whatever. And uh, yeah, you could you could put them in the helm socket and they were really, really strong. Um, if you check this out, yeah, I had one hour on the Crusader, okay. I had 300 hours on the Monk. I had 27 hours on the Witch Doctor. Six hours here, 12 minutes here, five hours here and eight hours here. So this was a season, yeah, if you put this all together, then probably 350 hours. And um, I can tell you where I ranked in the leaderboards. That was rank 59. Yeah, It's still there. Um, if you go season, season 25. Um, yeah, Witch Doctor. There it is. Yeah. So this was way more competition here uh, just because more people played. Um, so... It really depends how 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 many people play. If more people would play solo, solo season hardcore, solo solo season hardcore. Oh, this is this is all right. SSH. Now nah, it's solo self found. Yeah, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, probably I should name it like this in the in the videos from now on. Um, but what I want to tell you is, um, yeah, the the eight hundred paragon cap. Uh, it was probably um yeah not the not the best decision to to cap it off that that early um i made a tweet about it let me let me show this one as well um so now i changed the camera perspective and open this one so if you go on my twitter and scroll a little bit down i asked the question um where the paragon cap should be because we knew already that the paragon cap um will be in season 29 and i made this um image here yeah Nobody replied, but this is what I think um, the the Paragon uh, yeah, distribution looks like across the players. Yeah, in a, in a normal season, not in season twenty nine, because people quit way too early. But this is what I think uh, it looks like based on my experience. Yeah, most of the players get to like around two thousand to three thousand, probably early two thousand. Some quit earlier, obviously, and some go beyond that, but. In my opinion, the Paragon cap should have been somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000, yeah. That you still have that feeling to play the season, yeah, to, to have a finish line in front of you that is far away, where you can keep playing and, and grinding some, some rifts and so on, and it would have been also better for the flow. Why is that? Let me let me go back in game to show this to you. Um, there we go. The thing is, yeah, you need a certain amount of playtime to max out your character. Yeah, your character, it's not just about the gear to have all the ancients items and so on. Yeah, usually how a season starts is you do the season, you level up, yeah, to level 70 with massacre bonus, you grind your way up, and then you do the season journey and then you try to get your build. Yeah, and after you have your build for, for speed farming. You, you try to get your build for pushing and then you try to get ancient, ancient items for both of these builds and then you max out the, the gems, yeah, the weapon gem and all that stuff. You try to get an amulet that has elemental damage on it, crit chance and crit damage and so on. Same with the rings, yeah, you try to max this out. You put augments on your gear, yeah, and all of this is... Uh, so simplified already yeah that you can reach this really really fast yeah augments uh were pain in the ass back in the days because you had to level up the legendary gems yeah and now you can just do um the petrified scream yeah the echo of nightmares or echoing nightmare and you just go in play 225 and you get an atonement and you can put the augment on the gear so this is all simplified so what is the bottleneck playtime wise now it is obviously your normal legendary gems, yeah. So I have now almost forty hours playtime, and of course, yeah, my gems could have been higher, but uh, they are 130, 109, and hundred nine, yeah. So my and I'm Paragon cap for a long time already, yeah. Paragon eight hundred, you reach even even the most casual players reaches within twenty four hours more or less, yeah. So um. My my statistics about uh, this is that, for example, 2000 Paragon, you need around 100 hours. Yeah, 800 is like 24 hours and 3000 Paragon is around 
250 hours. Yeah, that is my personal experience. And um, I haven't reached 4,000 Paragon in a season yet, but this is somewhere around 350 to 400 hours. This is uh, my, depends also on the season theme, obviously. Yeah, uh, if, if you can uh, do, do if you can farm higher greater rifts, everything above 120 makes it easier because the lower the rift is that you can farm, that you can speed farm, uh, obviously the lower your Paragon level will be. But um, yeah, this is this is the case now. And for me personally, I would enjoy something around, I don't know, like 100 to 200 hours where the cap would be. So this puts it between, as I said, 2000 to 3000. But this is just my personal opinion. But after that time, you definitely have your gems uh, maxed out. Yeah, you had so much farming in there that the gems would be higher anyways. Yeah, like uh, even if you push them with like 1% or whatever, or 8% or 15% or whatever, yeah. And um, yeah, this is this is my opinion about it. Yeah, um, there's also another thing. Um, let me go back here. Um, bup, 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 bup. Monitor. and then uh, let me open it on Twitch. So Diablo three right now, six weeks after the release, fifty three viewers, absolutely dead. And um, yeah. Not many people are playing anymore, and uh, this after Solo Cell Phone got introduced, you know what I mean? Um, after basically a change got introduced that was uh, weighted by a lot of players, and uh, I know the reason is simple here, yeah, um, bad timing and a bad approach. Like, if you kept the Paragon at 800, then obviously people reach 800, they push one time in the leaderboards, first weekend, first week, and then they quit the game. And then obviously Diablo 4, a new season got launched and everybody moved on to Diablo 4. Um, I'm not really hyped about the game yet. I'm not really hooked yeah, because there are no leaderboards and the game has to be polished. There must be endgame and so on. And it's not there yet. And um, yeah, I, I don't enjoy playing the game just to test out the builds that got nerfed and buffed and so on anyways over the time. So... I, I can't really uh, build uh, something there that I have already in Diablo 3, you know. In Diablo 3 I see, okay, this is working out, this is uh, this this is the fastest way to, to 70, this is the fastest way there, and I already know it, you know. And in, in Diablo 4, even if you, if you um, teach it yourself right now, it gets buffed and nerfed anyway, so all the experience you learn now is more or less... Um, yeah, it's it's not as useful as uh, as it could be if um, yeah if it would matter. So yeah, what is your opinion on this? Yeah, um, is this is this the reality now? Or I mean, there's also worlds going on. There's also Dota two Ti. So I see myself also playing way more different games. Also, Wrath of the Lich King has uh, ICC released recently, and I think in in retail wow, there's also new content coming out. So this is probably the weakest Diablo 3 season we had in years, but um, yeah, I will still keep playing a little bit. I want to see how um, how far I can get in the leaderboards. If I can, um, yeah, push one of the builds to rank one, yeah, like in the end of the season. And um, yeah, I think um, after so many seasons, yeah, after so many seasons where people were basically uh, trained, trained, yeah, trained by the game to farm Paragon, um, this got taken away. So it was a huge part of the game. Of course, everybody was screaming, come on, we need some fairness here because this is just ridiculous. Yeah, The botters, they are farming and farming and farming and nobody can compete with them. And uh, yeah, but 800 is way too low in my opinion. And what do you think? Where is the perfect number for the Paragon cap? In my opinion, it, it wouldn't i mean of course it would change if the higher the higher the better i think like four thousand would be also great because then if you reach that you can you can tell yourself wow you you made it to the finish line yeah this is some kind of accomplishment for yourself and i think that's why we play games right we want to compete with ourselves we want to uh, see how good we play and there must be some kind of measurement and um i think the measurement right now is better but uh the game has also a duty to uh make it um yeah 
uh to 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 keep you playing like not not like brainless playing but at least uh keep you hooked for longer than i don't know a day and i think um diablo 3 still has the potential and uh there were a few things that uh yeah like that wasn't that wasn't uh thought through perfectly everybody was under the impression that the paragon cap of 800 will be raised yeah during during the beta but uh or during the PTR, during the PTR, but nothing happened. It got introduced with 800, and I think this is just um, a showcase that uh, the devs they don't have enough resources, yeah, to to do major changes like within within little time. And I think that was a missed opportunity here. Like um, when everybody is screaming from the roof, we need a higher Paragon cap, and uh, yeah, it isn't introduced and it's 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 a little bit uh it's a little bit frustrating and um yeah even if i get rank one now in this season which i'm still far away from but uh yeah like in the in the Aegis of valor leaderboards i'm at least pretty close and uh, if you if you check it out um i don't know what what rank i have like six or seven or whatever um let me let me check i'm only two rifts away from the from the rank one here yeah only two rift levels away probably three because i won't be able to do the time most mostly yeah mainly but um still yeah i would i would prefer way more competition and um yeah it's it's a it's a shame that uh that uh the potential isn't isn't used here yeah that the potential isn't used here so as i said something between 2000 and 4000 in my opinion is the best and yeah, perhaps we we will see this in the next season. I know that the Altar of Rights is coming back with a with a nerfed version. Um, perhaps Vision of Amity will also stay in the game with a nerfed version. Um, I have to say something about that as well. But this video was mainly about the Paragon Cap, and yeah, let me know what what do you think. Would you are you a player that prefers farming Paragon endlessly or? just brain afk when coming from work or whatever and just just see some results yeah that the level is going up and so on and that your character gets stronger uh are you someone that is completely happy with an 800 paragon cap um do you like fair competition do you do you like more competition let me know in the comments i think i covered this one now and um yeah everything about the 800 paragon cap is set my opinion is we need a higher one and this is how I end the video. Have a great day, have a great night, wherever you are. See you in the next one. Bye bye.